Hey, this is Rob Unspock, and welcome back to another edition of E-Heroes. This is episode 253, probably wow. keeping track, and I am honored by my next guest, who I've admired for the last decade. Um, so I, I'm just going to jump right in and, and introduce him. His name's Tom Foster, and uh, he runs a service called Foster Marketing. And as we as we get into this, you're going to learn some things that maybe you didn't know, uh, and and it's just gonna it's gonna blow your mind. So welcome, Tom, and thanks for being here. <laughs> well, thanks so much for having me, Rob, and um, for that introduction. I appreciate it so much. Um, you know, we we have mutual we have a mutual friend. His name's Jerry yeah. Ojinski, and Jerry's been on the show. Uh, way back in episode 12 and 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 then again he came back in episode 108 and and i know jerry speaks very highly of you and and uh jerry's been a client of mine since yeah. since i started really yeah. so like for i think probably 15 years he's been a client and yeah. um jerry he's does, a video all the, yeah he does video and any that's all he does i mean he's a lawyer but he never watches TV. I don't think he knows what radio is anymore. Uh, nope. He just takes his video camera with him on vacation and and just makes videos wherever he goes. And I think the last last county his wife like collects shells. Videos. Right, his wife collects shells. Right, I always remember this. His wife collects shells, so he's always on when they go on vacation. Um, he's always out with the camera while she's always collecting and doing her thing. He's out doing these great getting these great backgrounds mm. and just shooting these epic videos and he's got what do we say four thousand videos uh, out there 4, like like what lawyer has that yeah. amount of videos med mal lawyer he's a medical malpractice lawyer in new york yeah jerry ojinski and, and uh just does now, a fantastic job when when uh you know he has the he has a website that you designed that your team designed and and the uh, what I'm impressed about your service and and uh, you know what you do for lawyers is it's just not a typical WordPress website. It's not a cut and paste website. It's it's it, it's cutting edge web tech that you guys improve constantly every month or so. And and I mean I I've had the opportunity to get behind the scenes and look at the code and look at some of the things and 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 you know it. it for for an SEO standpoint, it's very easy to work with. Oh, thank you. And, well, and, it's all customized. It's all right. custom, and it's and it's uh, streamlined. The code is streamlined. Um, it doesn't have all the WordPress plugins that you have to deal with that can break and get hacked and and slow everything down. So most of our websites, um, if they're you know if they're optimized and worked on properly um because that's as you know rob it takes work constant work to keep a website optimized uh, score very high in website speed and optimization mm -hmm. um for both mobile and desktop and mobile is critical critical so yeah and that's uh that's how we code them and yeah. we've got dss that powers it yeah, let's let's talk about DSS because you know I think that is one of the most powerful things that you can offer. And for all those that don't know what DSS means, it's it's dynamic self syndication. And 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 I think that everyone has to remember that you are beyond being a marketer. You are you are the person who puts the blogs on. You're your person that does the videos. You do everything to syndicate your business to get out there. Um, to build trust with your audience. Yeah. Well, that's why I built DSS. I mean, I, I started built DSS okay. over 20 years ago before there was a WordPress. I mean, who knows if, if there was a WordPress, I might've gone a different route, but there wasn't. Right. And I wanted to, you know, I was building web websites one at a time, static websites, and it was crazy. And I needed to build a system so I could, build websites faster that's why i built it for me not really that i was gonna so it was and i needed to get content out and so then i opened it up for others to use and that's how dss got started 
but it's really a con it started as a cms content yeah. management system that's what it's based on then we added a crm years later <clears throat> then lead management then seo tools so it's got everything that you need in one package mm -hmm. so you're not having to add plugins in and so when you build a website with foster web marketing when we build you a website it is a robust customized to you lean coded fast website that will get you the clients the customers the patients whatever it is that you're looking for you know we're an education based mm -hmm. marketing company we can help you do that that's what we do um my services the people that work for me that do the services for our clients like the seo and, and content are the best in the business mm -hmm. and um you know i only get the best mm -hmm. and that's what we've been doing well, and, we I, work... I, and, and I, I think it comes down to your um your internal program you know you you were crafted as a marine you know and and, and yeah. you went for the yeah. military yeah. So getting out of the military, you know, you take those those precision skills and you put them to use into something that other people can use. And, and I, that's I true. That's, I'm a big believer in the chain of command. Yeah, and, and, uh, and uh, it, it's, yeah. it's phenomenal. Well, thank you. you we know, implemented EOS. Are you familiar with EOS? Uh, uh, yeah, I've heard the name. Yes. Yeah, EOS. We implement, and that's a. Uh, EOS is what runs our company. We implemented that a couple of years ago, and that is a structure for the operating system of the company. And um, that has helped us tremendously. I've got a great core people, mm -hmm. leadership. I've got great people that work for me. And, and that is the only way that I've been able to grow this company um and and the success that i've had is because of the people that i've got mm -hmm. um starting with my ceo buster tate who's been with me for over 10 years my best friend and partner um who uh runs the runs the company mm -hmm. um and does it so well um and then i've got just great people that you want me I wouldn't be able to do it without him. I mean, Toby Crandall, Young Zhang, who codes DSS, who's been with me since the beginning. Mm -hmm. These people have been with me since since I started. And, you know, they've stuck with me all this time. You know, we know we got something special here. And, um, and we love what we do. You know, we love helping people. We've got, you know, 250 plus clients that we uh that we cater to and um some of them are do it your what we call do it yourselfers meaning that we build them a website and then they can use dss to publish their own content whenever they want they're in full control over it right and they can know that they have got a reliable website that they can put content in easily it's not it's, it's very easy to use and um and and a crm so they can email their clients or their cost, you know, their, their leads, their prospects. Um, and it's all in, in one package and it's easy to use. And, no, and, and what's, what's kind of cool though, is, is that you didn't open up your service to everybody. You opened it up to a niche type of industry that you have really dominated in. And, and, and although, uh, I do have lawyers and I do have doctors as clients. You know, I started out um, going after the carpet cleaning field because that's what I knew at the time. I had right. I had a carpet cleaning company for 19 years and, you know, got rid of that and, and, and went into this full time. And it was I think it was because of Jerry that I started getting more and more attorneys. Uh, and, and now most of our clients are attorneys and doctors. But you initially said hey this is the field that i want to get into yeah well that's it i mean like years ago um i got uh 
well, introduced to Ben Glass. Mm -hmm. Ben Glass and I teamed up and um, he had a, a network of attorneys that he introduced me to. And those guys ended up, and this is back when websites were brand new and nobody had them. So those guys ended up, all of them, a bunch of them, like 20 of them immediately signed up with me and I had my hands full. And that's why I built DSS. It's yeah. like I had like to, to manage all these, these lawyers and lawyers are tough to work with. <laughs> Can they be. they demand yeah, yeah they're very demanding and very prof, you know they're professional and and they they are you know you gotta you gotta work with them and um so anyway I built the system and and I've been glass to to thank for that mm -hmm. for the beginning and in introducing me to all those lawyers yeah. and um and then we started great legal marketing. Mm -hmm. And we started our conference and, um, and that's still going on now. Um, but, uh, that's, that's how the niche started. And then now we do podiatrists too. We have a niche with podiatrists, interestingly enough. And that is, uh, through Rem Jackson and, and top pra and his mm -hmm. group top practices. You should get Rem Jackson on your show. Yeah. Um, I'll reach out. Yeah, mm -hmm. but yeah, I know Ben too because I, I yeah follow him on Facebook and he's yeah, what's nice about Ben or which I don't know if it's nice but it's I think it's cool. Um, he, he does part time uh, coaching, you know. Yeah, or, he's or referee. a ref, referee. Yeah, yeah he's yeah. a ref, and, and he's always complaining about the uh, you know the the, the dumb parents. Rules. He's always complaining <laughs> <The> about parents. <laughs> 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 yeah, 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 and uh, so yeah. You know, Ben's got, uh, he's got some character. Yeah, he does. That, that is saying it. Yes, <laughs> he does have character. Yeah, I, I remember but, my very first website, which was in 1995. And, and so, yeah, we're yeah. going back 28 years. But, you know, people like, well, they'll, they'll, they'll say, Rob, no, websites weren't that long. Yeah. I mean, I started learning code in, in high school in, in 1986. And, and, and so I've been around computers my whole life. But, this generation, they don't, they, they, they can't imagine being, you know, a website going back that far. That's when I first, exactly. That's when I first built Foster mm -hmm. Consulting, Foster Web Marketing, you know, the, the AKA mm -hmm. um, back in 1995, this week, actually, July 18th, 1995 is when I did it. Yeah, and so the, I celebrated that 20 years. You're right. It's been a long time. I, 1995 was when I started my cleaning business. So, yeah, it's uh, I've been a full-time entrepreneur for 28 years. And Congratulations. You um, made the journey. Yeah, Me too. But, but the thing is, is, is those first three years having that business, I had no idea about marketing. I didn't know anything. And, and I had to learn. And I, I right. learned from the greats like Dan Kennedy, Joe Paul. Right. And and as we started to progress and 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 I, I I had all this marketing knowledge, people started coming to me. Hey, Rob, help me with my marketing. Help me with my SEO, my copywriting, and and then that's how Unspock Media was born. And in two thousand one, I started uh, this this business. So I was running multiple like businesses at one time, and I said, you know, no. something's got to go. <laughs> so I sold the cleaning. Well, you've business. written all these books. It's great. I got I, I got well, your the, I got your lessons from the dojo yeah. right here. Well, and 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 just like you with your uh, with your web company, you know, I, I I came out with a book that I wanted to to basically, you know, show the world that hey, not only can I write a book, but uh, I can teach them some things. And the first book was called Share. It was all about social media. And uh, so ten years ago, I I looked for a publisher, and everybody wanted these thick, complicated books, and I wanted to keep it simple. So I created my own publishing company. And uh, after that, everybody said, "Hey, Rob, I want to I want you to help us with our book and do this and do." And now, you know, uh, we're working on. That's great. We we finished up our thirty sixth book uh, two months ago, but we're producing uh, two more books. Uh, in fact, ironically, both for lawyers, uh, which will be out later in the, in the year. 
So yeah, it, it's good for you. I, I think the 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 thing is for most oper- uh, entrepreneurs, sometimes we look at opportunities and say, "Nah, it's not for us." And then opportunities just come to us and say, "You're going to do it whether you want to or not." And so I, I just embraced it. And- That's exactly right. Sometimes the niche picks you. Yeah. Yeah. So you That's know exactly. But you know, in, in our 28 years. I know there's been a lot of changes, a lot, oh, yeah. a lot of, you things, have to adapt a lot of ways to adapt, a lot of ways to market each other. I mean, Jerry is the prime example of taking video to the extreme. I have a client that I, I talked to about off air who has really dominated TikTok, And, um, you know, one of the things that I helped her with is stop doing free consultations. Now she charges for all her consultations. And, um, you know, I, I know that a lot of personal injury attorneys don't want to do that. They don't want to charge for because, well, our competition's not doing it. I, I wish people would stop saying competition because, honestly, you know, the way you do things, nobody else can even emulate. I mean, they can't copy. I mean... Right. I, I just look at your you way. have your own unique brand, yeah. your own unique way, right? Mm-hmm. Why worry about that? Right. I'm with you. Yeah, and 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 so you and I started talking about um, keyword spying, and Absolutely. and 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 your approach and our my approach is the same way. But if you want to elaborate, that'd be awesome. <laughs> well, it's important that you don't worry about what your competitors are going after exactly. as a primary as your primary strategy for marketing. Yeah. Um, that's not, that's not where it's at because they might not have a clue mm-hmm. what they're doing yeah. with their keywords. Yeah. And then you're copying their keywords. That's kind of like your, that's kind of yeah. like your fifth or sixth thing on the list of what you should be thinking about. The first thing is who's your avatar prospect? Who's your avatar client? Who's your avatar patient? Who's your avatar customer? Uh, You have to identify who that is. And are you, is your, is your website, is your content, is your messaging, is your narrative, is your social media, is your branding, is your, is your everything speaking to that avatar? Very simply. And very we, clearly, very empathetically. Right. And and as we get older, I know my target market now is totally different than the target market from five years ago. Yeah. So we, you know, you as a as an entrepreneur need to evaluate that avatar every single year. Is this the avatar you still want to go after? You know, right. Does this have meaning to you anymore? Because if if you're still going after the 20, 30 year old demographic that that and, and you're 50 years old. It doesn't make sense. No, nope. so, you know, you have to readjust that avatar uh, as frequently as you can uh, to make sure that it's it's matching who you are. And you have to be fresh. Yeah, you ha- you you. You're and you have to communicate with your with your clients. Um, another thing is that, uh, and attorneys are especially uh, guilty of this. Everybody's always thinking about new, 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 new. Right. I got to get new. And they don't appreciate or consider what they got or their current clients or their past clients. And they are not nurturing their list properly mm-hmm. through email, texting, right. newsletter, print newsletter, keeping in touch with their existing clients, past clients. That is that is the way of referral mm-hmm. and, and the way of getting repeat business. And those firms, those businesses that understand that are the successful ones yeah yeah i mean it, it's 
I, I've written books on social media and I, I, I still love social media. However, I don't think social media is that prime area where you should be communicating with your clients, uh, especially lawyers. I, I think, you know, printed newsletters are still fantastic. Yeah, yeah I agree with but you. Nobody wants to use them. Postcards, you know. Um, Now's the time to do it. Because no one is doing it. And so like you get you get something in the mail today. You're like, wow, this is different. And it's got to be good. It can't yeah. be junk. Right. You got to do it. You still have still, the rules apply still that you have to have something compelling to open. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. And, and, and if it if it's even if it just mentions your website just a little bit. At least you're getting people to come to your website or come back to your website to maybe view the next article or or whatever. But sure, getting people to see you in a different light that's beyond digital works great. I mean, sending someone a birthday card, sending something. Yeah, oh yeah, uh, you know, handwritten note, handwritten note, right? And and but you know, lawyers are going to say, well, I don't have time to do that. Well, there are services that will do it for you. <laughs> they don't want to do it. <laughs> well, many of them don't, but the ones that do are the ones that are super successful. Uh, I, and that, I think what irritates me the most right now, and 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 it, I think it's mostly from lawyers, is the amount, the insane amount of money that they're spending on Google ads when they don't no. have to. Right. Well, that's the easy fix. See, that's what they have been sold. Mm -hmm. by other by companies selling pay-per-click yeah. so what happens is that these these companies get super rich by other big dumb law firms like morgan and morgan <laughs> and they spend a stupid amount of money on pay-per-click mm -hmm. for these agencies and these agencies then have all this money Mm -hmm. to hire you know great salespeople that are aggressive mm -hmm. and go after lawyers egos and say look at what morgan's doing mm -hmm. you should be doing this and everybody's like well morgan's doing it we got to do the same thing yeah and and it's all trying to you know uh trying to keep up with the joneses yeah, I, I, and that's that's the ego play, and it's mostly PI lawyers, but it it's everywhere. Mostly, mostly PI lawyers and criminal lawyers. Mm -hmm. Do you you know the DUI guys, PI guys are the biggest victims of it. But if you are, if you're listening to this and you are spending, you know tons of money more than you're comfortable with and you know it if you're hearing my words and you're feeling that in your gut and that's where it is in your gut i'm spending too much money on pay-per-click you probably are yeah. and i can tell you right now that hupe and abraham biggest pi firm in the midwest with 11 offices in three states spends very little on pay-per-click only for their brand yeah. not on keywords that is a minuscule amount of their budget they spend tons of money on other things mm -hmm. tons plus they give a lot of money away to charity like like nobody's business yeah. that's a whole nother conversation <laughs> about what they do for charity yeah, I mean, most of incredible the, what they do the com for the community. Most and of that's our a clients big, spend less than a yeah. thousand a month on pay per click, and 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 uh, to me, it's just why keep giving money to Google? And when when statistics say that at least thirty percent of that money is wasteful clicks. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, so you know, I'm with you. We, we look I, at, I get we off look at, get off the hamster wheel of that and yeah. um, stop stop feeding the beast. Yeah, there's um, better ways better ways to to uh, I think capture audiences 
uh, outside of paper. It's still organic and it's a bulky content. That's the other thing is that it's bulky content. You want 1300 words. Your practice area should be 1300 words, chunky content. Mm -hmm. That's what Google wants these days. Not this oh, and, little. And, and it's, right. And it, and it has to be what I always tell people. It has to be uh, conversational. Something right. that something that somebody when they're going to read it feels that it it reaches to them uh, and it captivates them. It's not some AI robotic. Right. Don't even get me started on that. But the article and, and here, look. If you can't write articles, do a video just like we're doing. Lay down your thoughts, or you know, uh, interview somebody, or hire somebody. Right. And, and then transcribe it, and that becomes your article. And and you know, I, I have I have taken so many people's, whether it be podcasts, whether it be they're 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 just thoughts. Even even Jerry's brilliant videos could be turned into thousands upon thousands of articles because it's all natural. It's all you know, it's it's his thoughts on paper. Um. And and that's what that's what Google wants. They they want yeah. that user engagement that that gets people involved, but doesn't sound so robotic. Yep. Yeah. You know, it just uh, I I I uh, I saw a statistic the other day where it said forty seven percent of traffic now is robot, and it got me thinking. I'm thinking, okay, well, great. Now Google has. Bard and this chat GPT and and all these people now have easier ways to create content for what for for the robot no you know one of the one of my whole elements over the last 10 years is making sure that you're attracting the right type of client and that's not only a human client but one that matches your avatar and if all your content is created for the robot you're just spinning your wheels. You're back on the hamster wheel. It's about getting leads. Yeah. That's what you should be measuring is leads. Yeah. Leads, leads, leads. Yeah. Uh, and I, 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 you know, we, we could go on and on and on, but for, I, I think a lot of people look too heavily on the analytics. They look at the numbers, they look at the, the warm and fuzzy numbers and they say, well, no, Look at that. I'm getting all this traffic. Okay. Uh, what's your conversion? You know, right. what's your sales? Are you right? Okay. Yeah. You got That's a the bottom visitors. line. Great. But did, did that at least one person give you a million dollars, you know, to make up for all that? And they'll say, well, no, I'm, I'm not getting that. <laughs> uh, That's what counts. Right. It, it, what you take to the bank is what counts. It's not the likes, the comments, the shares, the, the, the warm and fuzzy numbers. So if your website is not producing leads, you need to talk to us, Foster <laughs> Web Marketing. We can help you out. There you go. Well, you know, we have a few more minutes. Um, but, you know, what are, what are some of the things that you've seen over the years that uh, – I'm not going to say are a waste of time, but are are definitely shiny objects that lawyers should avoid when it comes to marketing. Oh, um, I would say the biggest scam is probably crisp videos. <laughs> I that that. I was invited to one of their. Uh, hey, kudos to Chris. Uh, yeah, I, that guy, I in, Mike, I was, I was did a great to job. One of his uh, Atlanta uh, shows, and I, I, I wasn't impressed. Uh, it was in the stadium. Well, I and... listen. I, look, <laughs> I got. I he did a great, wonderful job on siphoning tons of money out of lawyers, <laughs> um, and um, wonderful, but. Uh, those those videos don't they're beautiful but they're really just ego yeah. and they're ego bait for other lawyers um <laughs> that want to look like that you know and that's what it is it's appealing only to to you the lawyer 
you know that that is that is my opinion that uh, my opinion is shared by many i believe that i yeah, that have talked and and ego ego bait is one of the things that i i think that every lawyer should avoid yeah i want you to get every lawyer out there that's listening get off your high horse get off that high yeah. pedestal come down to earth and be an a, a, a regular human being you know to your stop stop trying to be like that guy yeah stop yeah, yeah. and and don't let your ego run the show don't let your ego get in the way. Who is your avatar client? Right. Yeah. And, who and is your avatar? Who is your perfect client that you want to work with every day? And that is who you should be thinking about and talking to. And that is what your video should be about. Short and sweet. Yeah. Remember what we just said. We said long things have changed. Now, like before you could throw up bit, bitty pieces of content, a couple hundred words, you were good. Google ate it up. Mm -hmm. FAQs, a couple hundred words, they, Google ate it up. Now, no more. Chunky and long content, short videos. Mm -hmm. Long content, short videos used to be short content, long videos. Now it's switched. Yeah. Now, because we can only absorb a certain amount. So, yeah. you know, keep your videos short and sweet, like yeah, two and minutes, if, if you're, and then uh, if you're break a them lawyer, up. Uh, go to Jerry's uh, YouTube and, and look at his videos because, you know, he's out. He's not, there's no bookcases behind him, no law books, no nothing. Yep. He's out with his camera taken. And, and, and same with, you know, uh, go to... Uh, Go to TikTok, go to Messy Military Lawyer, which is Jocelyn Stewart, and you'll see the same type of video. She's on her porch. She's out and about. She's in her car. She's these, these guys and gals that are making these videos for you, for education, aren't your typical lawyer. They're, they're, you want to go have a beer with them. You know, they're, they're, they're not stuff. Yeah, that's people. the way to do it. I right. mean, like, that, that that's what we started talking about originally jerry ojinski yeah i mean he's the he's you're compelled to listen to him right. i mean he's just so good at it yeah. and you got to have a certain personality to be able to pull that off people have tried to match him you know unsuccessfully uh you got to do your own thing yeah. and you know that's that's what each one of those lawyers you know yeah. And, Jerry and, and your TikTok you know, lawyer. For for me, you know, I have this whole Rob versus series of sarcastic books, and and for me, it's that sarcasm that comes out, and, and people that are attracted to sarcasm and laughter make perfect clients for me. People that don't like humor, they're like, "Oh, Rob, I can't take your books. Nope, nope, I can't take your sarcasm." It's kind of like a form of rejection. I like marketing. your sarcasm. So, I like, you know, I like sarcasm. It, it's, um, for, for me, it's, it's my personality is my brand. For Jerry, his personality is his brand. For, for yeah. Jocelyn, same. You know, for you, people gravitate to you because they have that trust. They can see what's going on on the website. They, they, it's not over promised, under delivered stuff. It's not glorified videos. It's, it, it's, it's you, Tom. That's what yeah. they're coming for. And, yeah. And we've been doing it for so long, 20, 20 plus years. Yeah. So how do people find you? Where do they go? Well, the easiest way is just fosterwebmarketing.com. Go to our website. You can get an analysis. Uh, we're happy to give you a, an analysis of your current situation and um, what we can do to help you and get you on a, if you're in a WordPress mess, um, <laughs> we can get you on a, um, in a better situation quickly uh if you're not getting the leads um we can help you out so um just give us a shout and um be happy to help you yeah and, and uh everybody Rob, you know uh just because i do certain things certain ways doesn't mean you have to stick with me you there are plenty of great people out there especially tom and and so you know yeah we build web wordpress sites because that's what we do. I don't I don't do custom code, but 
custom code website. Hey, there's nothing actually, wrong with WordPress site. No, but a custom coded website but for, actually will, I think, work so much better nowadays. So much bloat and and plug-in code code crap lately. It just it's bogging. It's just driving me nuts. So yeah. So you can build you. We'll build you. Look, Rob. You already know. You know DSS. <laughs> so we can build your clients' websites, and you can work on them. Yeah your seo for them we yeah i mean it, love to partner uh, up with we, you. we just moved a site from uh bluehost over uh to our 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 platform and it was a there was so much bloat code from bluehost i i i said to my buddy i said you know i i wish we were charging extra for all this moving shit because oh my god it took forever <laughs> it's like no i don't want to yeah, do yeah. it anymore <laughs> so well, if, you know, they, can work with uh, us there's there's so much app out there. So I, I, I want to thank Tom for being here. I want to thank everybody for listening. Well, thank you, you for having me, Rob, very much. You thank you so the much. Next episode. And, and please go visit Tom over at uh, fosterwebmarketing.com. You'll learn a lot. There's a lot of great information there. And, uh, you know, yeah, if you don't like your WordPress, book an analysis, take a look at what Tom has to offer. Hey, adios. See you on the next one.